Hey everybody, Soda Hunter here. Today I have a bourbon cream soda from Fest. And uh, this actually uh, is bottled in New Orleans. It came out of Slidell, Louisiana. Uh, let me make sure about that bottle. In, yes, bottled under uh, the authority of Vibe Cola LLC in New Orleans, Louisiana at festcola.com. This is a very similar type soda to Swamp Pop. Uh, Fest and Swamp Pop kind of have very similar things. Both of them have Louisiana cane sugar. Both of them have deep Louisiana heritage. Both of them bottled right there. Uh, one's in New Orleans. The other's in uh, Lafayette, I believe. Without looking at a bottle, I believe it's in Lafayette. Which isn't really that far away from each other. I mean, it isn't like North New Orleans and South New Orleans. It's maybe about two hours away from each other. Um, which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't that much. Because New Orleans is a pretty wide state when you drive across the south of it um but i'm this way every day i'm in new orleans and i stopped by a uh rouse's supermarket in slidell louisiana and found all the flavors that they offer this is the uh i don't know if there's a second or third one i think this is the third one i've had uh you can find the others on my uh, page just look up soda hunter fest and uh you'll see the others on there let me uh, read you a little story right here on here. The queen of Storyville, Lulu White, owned and ran one of the most expensive, expensive brothels in New Orleans. Her palatial house inspired the historic jazz piece Mahogany Hall Stomp, first recorded by Satchmo in 1929. That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> okay. Nice piece of history there. Uh, ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, natural flavors, caramel cover, phosphoric acid, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate. And, uh, first initial impressions, the, uh, bottle itself is really cool. Uh, just like the other ones. All the other Fest ones have the same design on it, just with some different color schemes in it. I think one of them was, like, blue and one of them was green or something like that before. Actually, one of them was green and orange, I believe, because that was a mint Satsuma. This one, I have had three, because the other one was pecan root beer. Yeah, so this is the third one. The uh, bottling is really cool looking. I like the label. This is all raised, so you feel this. Feels like uh, a record or something, if anybody knows what that feels like. If anybody under my age knows what that feels like. I, I, I never even owned a record. I just, anyway, sorry. I'm only 30, uh, 32 at the time of this, uh, this airing. At the time of the taping, I'm 31, but I actually turned 32 in a week. Um, but it's a sticker, too, if you don't see this. It's the definite line right here. It's all a sticker, but it's all raised. But the sticker is really high quality. It's stuck really well. It's not coming off, and it doesn't look like a sticker. I mean, you have to really pay attention to it up close to see if it's a sticker or not. And this is the cap here. Uh, I dropped it. Silver cap, white face with silver writing, uh... Flavors are birthright. Pretty neat presentation. It's got Lulu written on the uh, side of it. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's try this thing out. A bourbon cream soda. How, how about that, huh? There you go. Here's your cap. Smells good. It smells like you think it would smell like. Kind of have a, an alcoholic type smell to the cream soda. But I know there's no alcohol in it. It's just this this, this um, sense of bourbon in it, really, I'm sure. Uh, I'm not sure how they would uh, get away with putting any type of bourbon in something like this. But this is a soda, non-alcoholic. But it smells really good. And uh, definitely get a hint of that cream soda. So let's try it out. That's really unique. That tastes really, really Cajun. I mean, it tastes like it came from New Orleans. That's that's really good. It's really sweet though. Man, it's it's so sweet. The taste is so different. You do kind of get this um this tangy alcoholic type taste and then immediately you get cream soda 
the um, bourbon taste isn't really overpowering by any means. It's just a hint of it there. The cream soda is actually really good, really sweet. Uh, good carbonation level, a little syrupy. But it is a really high sugar soda also. You get something made with cane sugar and then on top of that it's a cream soda. And it's uh, it's going to be a little syrupy when you get a cane sugar cream soda, I'm sure. That's really good. Really sweet though. That one, that one is interesting. It's almost on the verge of being a little too sweet. It's really good, but the sweetness level might be a little too high. Um, I'm on the verge between two ratings, buy a bottle or buy a pack. I would say that was a buy a couple of bottles. <laughs> <laughs> well, they only come in packs of four. I say buy a pack. They come in uh, packs of four of these things here. And um, this is really good. It's good. It's it's really sweet. You got to really be prepared for that. You got to be prepared for a really sweet cream soda. But made with Louisiana cane sugar out of New Orleans. I've come to like just about every soda that's come out of New Orleans and, and the surrounding area in Louisiana and Lafayette, stuff like that. <clears throat> all those uh, all those sodas have this really rich, rich taste. And this one, to me, tastes straight up New Orleans. It's it's really good. They uh, they hit their, their region's flavor dead on with this. This would go really good with some kind of uh, spicy food. Like, uh, oh, it would. Actually, if I think about it, if you go down there and get some, uh, get some gumbo, get some crawfish... Uh, some gator or something like that that they have uh, at one of those many restaurants uh, Many restaurants down that way if you get any of that kind of stuff and you get one of these with it It would it would go perfectly with it That's probably what they were going for It'd be a nice combo of a spicy meal with a really sweet soda to counter it This yeah really good for the region uh, so I recommend that that's a buy a pack for sure uh, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at Soda underscore Hunter, Facebook.com slash Soda Hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below if you had any of the Fest sodas. And what what do you drink that best reminds you of the region that it came from? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to uh, see some see some different takes on that. Be sure to um, check out the Soda Jerks on Twitter at the Soda Jerks, and the website is the Soda Jerks.net. There's hundreds more reviews just like this one, including a lot of mine on there. And uh, if you like this channel and would like to support the channel, uh, in the description below, there is a link to a Soda Hunter t-shirt. It's a retro gaming designed t-shirt uh, made in the style of the old Duck Hunt NES game. And uh, I like it. I like the design of it. Um, any purchases of that t-shirt will uh, help the channel. So uh, if you like it, if you like this channel, pick one of those up if you want. Uh, and until next time, happy hunting.